Hey, what's going on guys? Mark here from Mark's Aquatics. We're going to do a little update on the Zebra Plecos. Now, we had a bit of a a bit of a mission going on here. Now, she's tried to go in again to lay some more eggs. And what she's managed to do... Now, when the male's got enough eggs in there, what he'll do is he'll stop her from coming in and laying any, laying any more. And, um, and that's what's happened in this case. She's battled her way in there to try and to try and lay some more eggs and what's happened is, is he's thinned away so much and they've, they've got so excited in their little pot that they've actually wafted the eggs out of the pot which is not good but I've managed to save them in this little Tupperware pot that I've got, this little acrylic pot now it's got a series of holes drilled in the bottom I've got it clamped on with my little G-cramp there and I've got one of these little things that they use for a drip which I picked up somewhere I can't remember where I got it now but it's got the little holes where it pierces the bag there you can use an air stone but I didn't have one to hand and then all you've got to do is create an agitation in the water um, with pleco eggs like you know they just fan them so as long as there's current moving around them they're going to be okay now with a bit of luck if you can look in the top of those eggs there we look like we've got little tiny plecos starting to um, starting to grow. One of the eggs was white yesterday. Now I've been in there with a very very fine because they stuck together. You see, that's how they do. They stick them together. You can see the little outer skin on the egg there, and they're inside. So that outer skin there is protecting them and their yolk sac inside. And it won't be long before you'll see tiny little blood vessels going over that little. Sorry, I'll get back into focus there. It won't be long before you see little blood vessels going over that yolk sac and you'll see that little tiny heartbeat inside when you'll get the uh, magnifying glass on there. I don't know how close I can actually get until it will go out of focus. It's not going to be great, sorry. But with a bit of luck, we're going to um, we're going to get some of these to hatch, if not all of them. We've got four, five, six, seven, eight there, which is fabulous. We've lost two eggs, three eggs, sorry. So with a bit of luck, we're going to um, we're going to hatch some of these guys out. Now what I've got is I've got my turkey baster here, and what I do is I'll just literally suck some water out of here, and I'll blow it back into the tank the other side, like so, and that reduces that water level then in that pot, and the holes then in the base will then, as you know, water will find its own level, so. It'll slowly purge up from the bottom through those little holes and fill up and become level again on the top and that will give it like a water change system and I do that two or three times a day and with that oxygen going in there, <clears throat> pardon me, with that air going in there, it's going to be moving and agitating that water around in there, stopping hopefully any fungus or any nasties which are going to grow on the eggs. But that normally that outer that outer sheath that outer case will protect them on the inside and it really does look like you've got some embryos there so I'm super happy about that really lucky I saw them actually because uh, sometimes they can get sucked up against the pumps or especially this guy here I've got some, some sponge around it that's the one that goes up to that big um, the big old that big trickle filter that I made full of um, the bio home bio home sorry it's got a bit of everything in there which Richard sent to me um, the ultimate, I think it's got some of the shower media as well and some of the other, I'm not sure if it was a prototype, ball shaped type he was doing for uh, shower filters as well. Not 100%, I'm sure if he watches the video he'll uh, correct me on that. Please do mate if you watch it. But yeah, so that's, with a bit of luck we'll have some, we'll, we'll have some babies. We've still got one in there, I've actually, I had two but sadly I think one died because I can't find it. I've looked everywhere and I can't find it, um, I can't find it anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't find it anywhere. But if you look between the pots, right in the back there, you can see the other little guy. Right in the back there, you see? That's where he lives. That's his little cave in there. And he comes in. I drop a couple of little tiny flakes of bug bites in there for him. And, um, and he comes out and he nails those. So, we've got the males and females in all their pots again. And... Um, so we'll have to wait another month now, but I'll heavily feed them up now, get them ready again, hopefully next time. Um, they'll do it themselves, but if not, and this is a successful way 
of doing it I'll strip the eggs out and I'll do this myself because I'm guaranteed them to hatch that way so we'll see how we go so I'll get back and, uh, to you guys when and hopefully these little chaps hatch okay okay guys it's day three now and I think we can see some little blood vessels inside their little egg cases what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little torch above and um, it's not going to harm them now the parents are already in their little hides away as you can see down there given this a regular three times a day with the old turkey base there sucking some water out like I said before and dropping that level down to about there and then the little pinholes in the base suck water back in to find its own level and give it that little water change again just to keep things nice and fresh now what I've also done is put an Indian almond leaf in with them as well because I find obviously this is antibacterial and antifungicidal properties that these guys have got within the tannins so I've put those in just for a little added bit of security there for the um, in case we get any mold or any fungus or anything of that nature on the egg cases now I wouldn't have thought they're that far off of hatching to be honest but I'm going to try and zoom in a bit closer and put the torch on and I'll try and show you if I can and it illuminates them you see those little blood vessels there running through the egg sac now that shows us now they're all fertile you can see the little guys those little red bits on the top I'm not going to completely put the torch on them for because I don't want to dazzle them or disturb them but I've just got enough there maybe better back a bit there you go you can just see those blood vessels now working through the eggs so we know this we've got hopefully eight little baby zebra plecos on the way there super exciting stuff and with that oxygen there coming out of that little bubble there the little bubbler which I created there is just keeping that water now circulating around the eggs to make sure everything's nice and healthy with the water changes with a bit of luck touch wood we'll, uh, we'll all be good and we'll have some healthy little wrigglers coming out of there in the next couple of days and when we do I'll get back to you guys and um, I'll give you an update on them okay hey welcome back guys right it's day four have a quick look at the old uh, king tigers in there giving them a nice couple of muscles trying to bring on a bit of um, bit of breeding behavior messy little guys these are I've got to get in here again and clean these filters out and get everything sorted still haven't got around to doing this tank yet this is my job straight after I've finished making this video give them a good clean out and um, and we'll go from there and hopefully we'll get some fry now then I've got some good news it's like I said it's day four I'm going to pan around on these and we have got eight stunning little zebra plecos on the way I'll try and zoom in on them and keep the camera still for you but there you go if you look at the top of those right that's a bit better picture for you guys now we've got eight beautiful little zebra plecos there little L46 zebra plecos you can see now the um, the blood vessels which have gone all the way around the yolk sac now and they're really getting into gear now and starting to do some growing you can see the little embryos in there wriggling their little tails around now and again I don't know how close I can get without it going a bit out of focus probably best around there I think but there you go they're all fertile they're all growing which is fantastic so we're gonna have another eight to add to the colony I've already had some of you guys screaming at me for these little babies when they get to a certain size and um, no doubt I'll be selling them off in the future when they're a bit older but um, looking really good eggs are looking really healthy I've got the al the almond leaf in there for the antifungicidal properties obviously we don't want the eggs to get fungused up but I think if they were going to now they would have done so far I had one egg which was which was moldy and I very very carefully removed that egg and turkey basted it away and got rid of that so it wasn't going to spread any more infection anywhere else onto these good eggs it may not have been fertile that's the reason why it went bad sometimes they don't fertilize all of them but they can add from around I don't know 7 to 15 eggs but these are these are quite big these guys but um, I think we've lost about four so um, I think we had about 12 in total I think with the egg cases sometimes you see the little egg cases on the side there and they split and the eggs have been removed but like I said they wafted them out so maybe they they tried to eat a couple of them and they just wafted them out I'm not sure but 
brilliantly they've been fertilized so we've got these um, we've got them on the way which is great news so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in again with you guys on well tomorrow I'll do another update tomorrow link all these videos together so you can you can see the growth rate before they hatch now if you're unfamiliar with eggs and with hatching you can see if you look there on the top you've got a little clear piece on the top there and you've got the yolk sac underneath now what they'll do is they'll wriggle away and as they get a bit bigger that that little clear bit on the top there which is like another little case around them will sh will split and then they will come out of there and wriggle off onto the bottom and then start wriggling away and building up more muscle and that's why we call them wrigglers in the trade of all species of fish because as soon as you see them hatch they've got that little yolk sac and because they can't feed all they do is they just fin backwards and forwards that little tail goes that little propeller starts up and they'll just keep finning away constantly and that is going to be building muscle using those resources up to build muscle to get some size and to reduce that yolk sac before they become either free swimming or in these in the case of plex stay on the bottom of that sac will be absorbed into them as you'll see in the uh, in the coming in the coming videos so i'm going to pop back and see you again tomorrow with another update they may have hatched like i said it's between sort of about seven days they hatch so we're getting closer to hatch time now so i'll, I'll tune in with you soon okay right okay guys we are now on day five and you can see we've got some little tails now some little wrigglers they're popping through that egg case now that outer separation case sorry the case now that goes around them on the inside that little protective layer around the outside has now got very very thin and um, and they've broken their way through it now it pops open just like a shell off of a pea does and um, now you can see we've got some little tails little embryos now wiggling away fantastic to see I'll try and zoom in a bit closer for you but my camera's not playing the game this morning that's not too too bad for clarity but you can see them there sat on top of their little yolk sacs some of them haven't broken through I think three of them have broken you can see one there just wriggling its tail and the one above that hasn't gone through there you can just see the little transparent film around the top of the of the of the egg there but I think three of them have broken free so probably by the end of today later on this evening the rest of them should be on their way out where they're going to start doing their little famous wriggling dance and putting on some size and using up that yolk sac like I said before and growing away and they should absorb that within about 10 days that should be takes about five well about five to seven days to actually hatch we're on the fifth day now they're just starting to hatch and um, and then they're going to be utilizing that yolk sac for an, probably another 10 days as they slowly slowly grow into little tiny L46 little plecos little baby zebras anyway guys I hope you like that first little section of the hatching out of the L46 plecos I'm super excited about these so happy we got eight little guys on the way and as always you're all stars thanks for tuning in thanks for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you can follow these little guys along and pop back and have a look at some of the other videos that I've done and it may encourage you to subscribe to the channel as well. And um, like I said, as always, you're all stars. Take care of yourselves. Love you loads. See you on the next edition of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now. Just me and my guitar.